It's called the toughest sport on dirt. What compels a man to get on top of 1,500 pounds of mean? Throw him over! Throw him over! These are the men who will risk it all, riding eight seconds to glory. Bull riders. They are the rock stars of rodeo. You gotta want to be the best. It'll take more than just guts and grit to win the greatest prize. These are their stories. It can be taken away from you in the blink of an eye. And this is Hell on Hooves. Uh, this is my great-grandfather, George Armstrong. He's rode in the very first Calgary Stampede in 1912. Uh, this picture here, this is like, I guess, his son, my grandpa, that's Bert Armstrong. Kelly Armstrong comes from a long line of cowboys. He rode bulls for a time, was pretty good at it too. But now he raises them instead of getting bucked by them. I really was interested in genetics and all that when I was in school. And um, I'm a firm believer in that, you know, the cross you get from an F1 cross, like your very first cross of two different bloodlines, is when you get true hybrid vigor. And that is when you get the best of both breeds coming into one. Kelly's taken the business of breeding into the 21st century. You know, it's just like being like a mad scientist. What you're doing is a pinch of this bull with a pinch of this cow trying to create the perfect bucking bull. Come on, do it again. And he did. Garfield was the first bucking bull born by embryo transplant. And he would go on to become a champion. This bull here is a bull called Good Vibrations. This is a Garfield son. This is definitely going to be a future herd sire for us. Our livestock are like our kids. You know, that it's not something that's learned overnight. I mean, you learn it from, you know, your parents, and it's generations deep. This weekend, Kelly will haul his bulls to the Danes Rodeo Ranch, just a few miles outside of Innisfail, Alberta, the home of the second stop on the Wrangler Pro Rodeo Tour. Don't put that on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Family traditions continue. Today, Kelly's nephew is going to be riding bulls in Innisfail. Well, Devin Maisie's my nephew. He's my sister's boy. Devin and I come from a long line of, of cowboys in the Western life, and you know it's no surprise that he's turned out to be a bull rider and a great bull rider. Uh, yeah, my dad rode bulls um, professionally for quite a while, and my uncle Kelly rode bulls for a lot of years. You know, being a tennis pro or a lawyer would be a little unacceptable at Christmas dinner in our family. I don't know. I probably. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have balked at being born into a family of golfers either, but you know, just never know, so. You know, more than anything, I mean, Devin's a line-bred, bull-headed little fart, and I mean, he takes direction as well as well as I do. Well, you can't choose your family. Devin is one of a dozen bull riders that'll compete on this first day of rodeo in Innisfail. Riley Harvey is also a bull rider, and a saddle bronc rider, too. Riley Harvey up next. He competes in both events at every rodeo. You just bear down and give it to him. Bear down, Riley. Right. Come on, Riley. Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Riley. Come on, Riley. 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 Like Devin, Riley's passionate about the Western way of life. It's a lot of work for 78. Not only has he got both cattle and oil in his family background, he's also one of the most eligible bachelors on the rodeo circuit. Oh, it's it's certainly not hard to meet women. There, There's always uh, pretty girls in, in different places and stuff. Um, I don't think that's much different for any professional sport anywhere. I think you're always going to find that women are attracted to uh, to people who follow their passions. I'm only 22, so, you know, I hopefully got a long time ahead of me, and I don't, yeah, there's not many girls that, 
that'll stick around and just date you for 10 or 12 years while you're rodeo until you're done to marry him. So I'll probably have to bite the bullet sooner than later, but. It's kind of something that's hard for people from outside the rodeo or Western way of life to understand, certainly. I mean, you tell, turn around and tell somebody that you're gonna potentially date, that you're gone every weekend and, you know, for three or four days and that, uh, you know, women are gonna be chasing you around all the time and there's alcohol involved occasionally and all the rest of it. I don't think any girl or, or a, you know, guy, a significant other is gonna be real wild about that. I've had a girlfriend or two that wasn't in rodeo at all and, and they didn't last very long having to explain how bull riding works every time, you know, they came. So, yeah, you know, I just got tired of that crap, so went back to the rodeo girls for a while, so. Now, there's usually a half dozen or more events at any given rodeo, but it's the last event that most fans are waiting for, the bull riding. The rules are simple. Hang on for eight seconds without touching the animal or yourself with your free hand. Arena judges will mark the score, half for the rider, half for the animal, to a maximum of 100 points. Now here at Innisfail, there'll be five days of competition. At the end of it all, the rider with the highest score wins. Riley Harvey rides first. Riley bucks off. No score for him. Sports hell on hats. <laughs> Devin Macy's up next. Come on, Devin earns an 86 and a half. That'll be the high score of the day, as pretty near every other bull rider hit the dirt. The bull ropes are put away. Tomorrow, one cowboy is gonna get all spiffied up and tie himself a different kind of knot. Tyler Thompson is the former bull riding champion. He'll compete in Innisfail a little later in the week. Today, though, he's been lassoed by love. The very first time we met was in uh, Peace River at a bull riding finals. And then Tyler asked me for my phone number, but I was only 15, so I wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend. Hi. I ended up working up in Grand Prairie when we went on our first date up there. Took me to a movie and out for you supper, and this way, just like, then I never heard from him again. <laughs> Ran into her again out at a rodeo in Cloverdale. He actually left his shaving kit in my horse trailer, because we have a horse trailer with living quarters and stuff in it, and uh, he left his shaving kit in there on purpose, so he had to come and see me again at Grand Prairie Rodeo. I, it didn't take long to know that I liked her pretty good, so... I think his smile really, um, really made me kind of like him. <laughs> we started dating, and... The rest is history. It's about time he did this. He's been, we've been bugging about it for a long time, and finally he bit the bullet and isn't going to weaken. So, well, I guess it's still got a couple hours, I guess. So, he still has time to back out, I guess. But. I 
best friend and I'm ready to spend the rest of my life loving you. I love you for who you are and what you believe in. I pronounce you husband and wife. It's the second day of rodeo at Innisfail. Ty Elliott will ride this afternoon. He's the reigning Wrangler Pro Rodeo Tour champ. Well, um, this winter I dislocated my shoulder and I took about a month and a half off and got feeling pretty good again. And I come back and I was riding with a new, a new shoulder brace that tied my arm right down by my side so it wouldn't come out. But when I, when I, in doing that, I, I kind of have a little bit of hell getting off right and I just can't put my arm down to catch myself. So I got, ended up, I got like five concussions in about a week or well, five weeks. And, um, you know, so I kind of decided I was going to call her quits, get this shoulder fixed. Ty used to travel with Tyler Thompson, but now he's got a new truck mate, his fiance, Haley Keenan. She competes in ladies' barrel racing. Um, I'm pretty confident for him, actually. He's a pretty good rider and can get off pretty safe most of the time. And um, I don't like it when he lands on his head. It's <laughs> one thing that's not very fun to watch. But other than that, I'm always pretty excited, more than nervous. So. Yeah, and I mean, it's awesome. I mean, usually whenever I'm gone, you know, I, the first person I call and I'm get off is, is Haley, you know, let her know how I make out. And, you know, I'm, I hope I'm the first guy she calls and she gets, <laughs> gets done. But no, but now, I mean, we get to watch each other and, you know, usually I'm up there running the video camera for the barrel racer and then, you know, she does it for me for the bull ride too. So, um, yeah, we can support each other a lot better. And, you know, I don't, and I don't know, everybody rags at me for traveling with the barrel racer, but I, I don't mind it. <laughs> On day one, Devin Macy set the bar with an 86 and a half. That's the score to beat. Day two of bull riding gets underway, and Ty Elliott gets ready to ride. Blue shirt, Dave, but they seem to like you tonight. Right now, for Ty. Okay, 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 Ty. Zero on the board for Ty today. If if one of us didn't rodeo, like I, I mean, I know it would work. I mean, we can make anything work, but it's sure a lot handier being able to go with you every weekend, though. No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ellie Armstrong. How are you today? I'm pretty good, you? Well, not too shabby. Kelly Armstrong has brought his bulls to Innisfail. Been doing all right? The rodeo office has randomly drawn a different bull for each cowboy. Let me, do you have a list? I think the only bull that's in the afternoon is Pitchfork. Oh, we need Wooly Bully. Oh, pitchfork. Now, he's got to move them from the holding pens and then get them lined up for the bucking shoots. Um, moving cattle, you know, through a corral system Jesus Christ. is almost an art. Colt Hope. Here's a catch, Grant, right here, this brindle on that side. And he'll line up one more bull. Good vibrations, hey. His star performer, good vibrations. He'll probably buck, you know, 15, 20 times this year. Um, he's uh, yet to be ridden yet in the 010 season. You know, the bull riders love him. He's a great bull. He's just a fastball pitcher. There's no tricks. What's up? The bulls are loaded. And the cowboys get ready to ride. Today, Robert Bowers will compete in Innisfail. He's a veteran bull rider who's seen it all. I'll never complain about being single, you know. I've, I've been on the road, you know, just about my whole life, and being on the road and being single is, is great. Uh, I'm 35 now, you know, I'm getting pretty old, and yeah, I think about having a relationship and being with somebody, but uh, for having a girlfriend or something right now isn't, isn't a priority. You know, when, when I go to weddings, old people poke at me and, and say, you're next. And when I go to funerals, I poke at them and say, you're next. So it, it goes both ways. Champion of Canada, Robert. Robert He's rides a next. Great champion as well. He's ready to go, Robert Powers. Come on, Robert. It's a buck off for Robert. 
Kelly Armstrong's Good Vibrations is up next. Today, this bull will challenge Stephen Turner. Like Riley Harvey, Stephen also competes in more than one event. Earlier in the day, he earned the high score in steer wrestling. He's got the Franklin Bull Good Vibrations. This is a son of Garfield and a grandson of a world champion. You watch this. You're getting your money's worth and you got a free chance to the Good Vibrations lost this buck and battle to Stephen Turner. Steve moves into first place. And as for Good Vibrations, well, you win some, you lose some. Tomorrow, it's the final day of competition, and it's gonna feature a powerhouse of bull riding champions. It's the final day of rodeo in Innisfail. And the newlyweds have shown up just days after their midweek wedding. Being, being in, in rodeo is we work on the weekends, so to have it during the week when everybody is on their off time, that's, that's kind of what we'd planned on doing. And Two days after the wedding, Tyler had to go to some rodeos, and I was just sitting at home anyway, so I jumped in and we went to Oregon. and Put Sheena behind the wheel, and she, she slugged it out for about eight hours of the drive and let us sleep in the camper. So. That's pretty, pretty huge thing for us is to, to have somebody that's willing to sacrifice themselves so that we can, we can feel better the next day and have a chance at winning. <laughs> I'm stuck with them now. <laughs> the final round gets underway. You call me a bitch? Well, it's 16 62 for Brady. We got out of order a little bit right there. Get my, get my helmet. Get my helmet. <laughs> Tyler Thompson, TNT, we call him. The new bridegroom, and he's got the Northcott sensation, Swerving Mervin. I love this matchup. I love this matchup right here. 88 and a half is the score to beat. Tyler Thompson is up. score for Tyler today. Three other heavyweights will compete in this final round. Scott Schiffner and Bo Hill have traveled the circuit for years. And a short while back, Jesse Torkelson also joined the truck. Now, while there's a lot of single cowboys looking for love, these three fellers, well, they're, they're already hitched. Oh, I think uh, being married actually helped me <laughs> in in my bull riding for sure. It, uh, it toned me down a little bit. Uh, it's, it's no different than being, being single really. You just, uh, bull riding is bull riding. You gotta take care of that. And uh, what you do at home is your business and it, it shouldn't affect the way you ride bulls. Yeah, you know, like today's Father's Day and I'm away from everybody, so it would be nice to be home right now, but this is my job, and, um, you know, they've been coming with me here quite a bit lately, so that makes it a lot easier. I'll steal one of them and bring them along for the weekend, but um, it's hard hard to be away. That's the, the worst part about rodeo, I think, is all the travel and being away from the family, but a few calls here and there, and, you know, just to kind of keep me going along definitely helps from everybody. My wife Brandy knew this uh, when she decided to marry me and we knew it when we decided to have kids. So I think it's actually the greatest lifestyle in the world. And my days are numbered, there's no doubt about it, but it's not due to me having a family or having kids. It's due to me getting older, doing this my whole life. And it's sooner rather than later that I need to move my life into the next phase. But as of right now, 
If anything, they drive me and help me more. The final performance continues. Jesse Torkelson's up. Here could be the next demonstration. Watch here now. Jesse Torkelson not able to get it done. No score for Jesse. For Jesse, it's a buck up. Bo rides next. Gets himself a score of 83, and it's enough to move him into the top 10. Scott will be the last to ride, and he needs to win. He's bucked off at every smaller rodeo since the last tour stop. It's been awful. I can't stay on, and I haven't drawn the best bulls, but that's no excuse. You know, you need to stay on them all, and it's not been good, so I need to, you know, pull my socks up. All right, Scott Schickner, ready to go on goggles. Right here. Come on, Scotty. Make a ride now. Scott Schiffner, right here on Goggles. Come on, Scotty. Oh, get away, get away. Get away. Good pull, right pull. And nice work by Scott Byrne, David Sandy Lance, and a disappointed Scott Schiffner needs to hear from us right now by way of consolation. No score. Steven Turner wins in his fail. Devin Maisie comes in second. Bo Hill is ninth. And yet again, Scott Schiffner bucked off. Yeah, it's just one of them deals. I'm going through uh, a full-blown slump, and the harder you try, the harder it is to get out of it. And I honestly don't know what to do right now. Every time when I get a little bit older, it seems a little harder to keep working through that because you just, he can't figure it out how, you know, four months ago, you know, there wasn't too much that could buck a guy off. And now there isn't too much I can stay on. And why? I, you know, I don't know what I've done different. It's just one of them things and we all got to deal with it. And the guys that keep winning and keep making the finals figure a way to, to deal with it. And I hope I can be one of those guys. At the end of the season, the top 12 money earners will be heading to the finals. In the national standings, Jesse Torkelson remains in first place. Stephen Turner second, Devin Maisie third, and Tyler Thompson sits eighth. For Scott Schiffner, well, he's got to pick it up. He's currently sitting in 13th place. On the next, Hell on hooves. I said we got to get on. I said we got on twice as many bulls. We should have to. We should get twice as much money out of. 